As a child, I dreamed of having superpowers without actually having superpowers. The only thing I found even remotely close to being human and having superpowers is Bruce Lee. Hi Seekers, welcome back to the Existential Shift. Morgane, um, you are with me in a very special place. Um, for me, anyway, for many people actually, this is the gravestone of legendary Bruce Lee, founder of Jeet Kune Do, um, and a legend on its own. And his son, uh, Brandon Lee, um, who also died tragically. Bruce Lee died when he was 33 in a very unfortunate circumstances, something medical that until today isn't really clear to people. Um, he was the king of the martial arts, um, allegedly the founder of MMA, even non-intentionally, because he took the wisdom and the essence and the power and the spirit of different martial arts the good aspects of them, the strongest aspects of each, and created his own language of martial art, Jeet Kune Do. Now, people often compare him or Jeet Kune Do to MMA, mixed martial arts, because allegedly it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, aka mixed of all kinds of things. But the thing about it is it's actually the complete opposite. Um, his philosophy is not of some of all but it's of the nothing of the empty hand of being like water of becoming the thing that you need to become in order to defeat some sort of enemy now different enemies are different um, th they require different means different strategy different movements and if you are dogmatic or linear or stuck on one type style technique craft then you can defeat something but you can't defeat all he was also very much into the um, you know there's a phrase that says know thyself but not thy enemy and you'll win 50% of battles know thy enemy and not thyself and you'll win 50% of battles know thyself and thy enemy and you'll win 100% of the battles. Now the thing about knowing is that it is a variable. Knowing ourself changes because we change. Knowing our enemies change because they change within themselves and between themselves. So we basically have to be dynamic and we need to be able to shift. Bruce Lee's philosophy goes really hand in hand with my philosophy of the existential shift. It's something that I've always been carrying with me. Um, and when I learned about him and his movies and his Jit Kune Do and his philosophy and way of life, it all just really made sense to me. And I always wanted to study martial arts. So um, I've been studying about two years and some uh, karate with uh, Grandmaster Kaicho Tadashi Nakamura and for about two months only recently with uh, Sifu Eric Carr, who is a direct lineage to um, Bruce Lee. And all of that is just a great honor to be able to be even a small part of that knowledge and of those crafts. Now, I am not a master or an expert. I'm still on my journey, but the spirit of it the philosophy of it is something that i've been carrying forever and i will continue carrying now i've been wearing all blacks uh today in honors of bruce because he used to wear all black um i'm a martial artist i'm also an actress bruce lee as you know was an actor and i don't know i guess his powerful essence that is also so soft and flexible. I find it magical and ideal as a way of living because 
you can go anywhere, you can be anything, you are truly free. Um, Bruce Lee was so dedicated to his craft, but he was also truly free. He was a complete expression of himself even when he was he himself was changing he was constantly a complete expression of himself and that's real freedom that's real liberation um, even when you change to allow yourself to change it to be just that right harm none and other than that just be um, so for me it's a great honor to be here today and I really wanted to share this with you my seekers um, because this is um, he is a spiritual leader for many but also for me and you um, you follow my videos and you take my advice and you learn from me and for me it's a great honor so I thought how can I not take you with me uh, to my spiritual leader um, to my advisor um, so I'm really happy to share this moment with you guys um, this says, your inspiration continues to guide us toward our personal liberation, which makes total sense. Um, founder of Jeet Kune Do, and he was born on November 27th, 1940. He was a Sagittarius, and he died on July 20, 1973. Um, my father's birthday was July 20, and Bruce died on July 20. And no, I don't think one was the reincarnation of the other. I just... You know me, I like to make those connections and I just, not that I can find a direct connection, but I like, kind of like the essence of it. It's all death and rebirth, right? One died in that day, the other was born in that day and both such influential characters in my life. Um, so I kind of enjoy having that little fact on my side. Um, also, I have the dragon here around my, um, my gold stone that I got in the magical mountain that I found myself in um, about a week ago. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go to my, li to my live stream that I did on the 10th, um, and I'm telling the entire story there. Um, but the dragon is because of his movies, uh, Into the Dragons, etc. So, I would like for us, and I, and I didn't plan this, take a moment of meditation to kind of soak in the energy of Bruce Lee, the energy of be water, my friend, the energy of know thyself and know thy enemy, the energy of shape-shifting, of the existential shift. Um, and it doesn't have to make sense and you don't have to understand how it will affect you. Um, in this next few weeks, next few days, whatever. But just let it kind of soak in and allow it to help you or come out in the moment that you'll need it most. Because I would like to harness the energy that exists here, the energy of the essence of Bruce Lee, the essence of Jeet Kune Do, the essence of martial arts, the, es the essence of freedom, liberation, self-expression, and of existentialism and shape-shifting um, I like to I'm asking to harness all this energy right now in a moment of honor to all these things and to Bruce and his son Brandon to have it in me and therefore have it in you To breathe it in, the chi of it, the life force of it. Take the sounds of the crows and the ravens. It is a graveyard. And breathe it in. You now have Bruce Lee in your heart. You now have me in your heart.